During data transmission, there are various external factors which can affect the transmission of data over a network channel. To prevent such cases from happening, we use Internet Protocol Security, which we will be discussing in the session on IPsec Explain. Hi guys and welcome to yet another interesting video by Simply Learn. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Now without further ado, let's take a look at the agenda for this session. To begin with, we will look into what is IPsec. Continuing with why do we use IPsec in a network, followed by components of IPsec, modes of IP security. As for the last topic, we will look into working steps involved in IP security. Let's begin with the first heading that is what is IPsec. IPsec, Internet Protocol Security, is defined as a set of framework and protocol to ensure data transmission over a network channel. This protocol was initially defined of two main protocols for data security over a network channel, which were Authentication Header, which is responsible for data integrity and anti-replay services. And the second protocol is Encapsulating Security Payload. In short, ESP, which includes data encryption and data authentication. Now let's move on to the next setting, that is, why do we use IPsec in a network? IPsec is used to secure sensitive data and information, such as company data, clinical data, bank data, and various sensitive information regarding an institution, which are used during data transmission over a network channel. The use of VPNs that are virtual private networks and apply IPsec protocols to encrypt the data for end-to-end -end transmission. Let's continue with why do we use IPsec services. IPsec is also used to encrypt data for application layer in the OSI model and provide security for sharing data over network routers and data authentication. Let's take a look at the working of IPsec services. To begin with, we have two different systems, system one and system two, which will establish a network channel and then the encryption of data will take place when one host will share the data to the second host. During this, IPsec services will secure the data that is to be transferred over the network channel by applying router encryption and authentication. Now let's move on to the next topic that is components of IPsec. The IPsec services comprises of multiple protocols that ensure the data transmission over the network channel. The first one is encapsulating security payload protocol in short ESP. This protocol of IP security provides data encryption and authentication services and it also authenticates and encrypts the data packet in the transmission channel. Moving on, we have Authentication Header, in short, AH. Similar to ESP, the Authentication Header also provides all the security services, but it does not encrypt the data. It also protects the IP packet and adds additional headers to the packet header. The modified IP datagram looks this way, where the IP components are included at the 2nd position, the 7th position and the 6th position along with the authentication of data services over the network channel. Moving on we have Internet Key Exchange IKE. This protocol provides protection for content data and also changes the attribute of the original data to be shared by implementing SHA and MD5 algorithms. They also check the message for authentication and then only is forwarded to the receiver side. For example, this is the original data packet we are used to with IP header path, TCP UDP and data. Whereas this is the modified IPsec data packet where ESP header is added between IP header and the TCP protocol. Now let's move on to the next heading that is modes of IPsec. 
there are basically two types of IPsec modes available for data transmission over the network channel, where the first one is tunnel mode. This mode of transmission is used to secure gateway to gateway data. It is applied when the final destination of the data is to be connected to a sender site through a connection gateway over the internet. For example, we have two hosts, host A and host B. Through the host A, we are sending a message to host B, which will pass through a gateway at host A point. And it passes through a gateway to host B then. This is a basic format for gateway to gateway data transmission. And the given IP datagram format is used for tunnel mode. Now let's move on to the second mode of IPsec that is transport mode. This mode of IPsec is used to protect protocols like TCP or UDP and is used to ensure end to end communication unlike tunnel mode. The transport mode data at authentication header and encapsulating security payload for security purpose in the IP header. This is the modified IP datagram for transport mode. The point to be noted is the IPsec header is always added between IP header and TCP header. Now let's move on to the last setting for the session on IPsec that is the working steps involved in IP security. In general, there are five steps involved in the working of IPsec to ensure data transmission over a network channel. The first step is host recognition. In the first step, the host system will check if the packet is to be transmitted or not by automatically triggering the security policy for the data, which is implemented by the sender side for proper encryption. Then the second step is known as IKE phase one. In this step, the two host devices, the sender and the receiver side will authenticate each other to establish a secure network channel. It is comprised of two modes. The main mode, this provides much better security with a proper time limit. And the second mode known as aggressive mode, as the name suggests, it establishes the IPsec protocol much faster in comparison to main mode. Let's move on to the third step, which is IKE phase two. After the second step, the host decide the type of cryptography algorithm to apply over the session in the network channel and the secret key for the algorithm to be used to encrypt the data for transmission. Then we have IPsec transmission. This step involves the actual transfer of data over the network channel using various protocols used in IPsec security, which are implemented under the tunnel condition. And the last step is IPsec termination. After the completion of data exchange or session timeout, the IPsec tunnel is terminated and the security key established is discarded by both the host system. With this, we are clear about all the points regarding IPsec security. If you have any questions regarding the topic, you can ask them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.